Hey folks, it's Rob here, welcoming you back to the Video Gadgets Journal, and we're talking about Airshow as always. The saga continues. Recently we got the 0.6.0 update, and that has fixed playback, but it's not fixed the ability to edit your videos on an iOS device. Let's investigate that in a little more detail. To clarify, when you do an Airshow recording now, I have a 53 second video here and I can play it back within Airshow absolutely fine. If I then copy that video to my camera roll and we have a 54 second video here, we can play that and that also plays fine. The problem seems to be when you actually bring this video into a video editor and we'll do that right now. Uh, I'm going to use iMovie and I've already imported the video but if I try and edit it, watch the playback as I swipe along the timeline, you'll quickly see that it becomes all disorientated, blurred, distorted, and eventually I think it will freeze, but obviously this is not a very good editing environment, and it's not going to be something that you can work with. However, as always, there is a fix. And what you need to do is simply import the video into a video editor and then export it without making any changes. This is going to effectively convert the file into something that's more iOS friendly. So if I go to the share button at the bottom here and then type on save video and do it as a 1080p video, that will start exporting the movie and that's exporting it into the video format that's more common on iOS devices. Now this will do something a little unusual, especially with iPad landscape recordings, because an iPad isn't in a 1080p native resolution, it's more square, you're going to have bars on the sides, which I will show you in a minute. So the video has finished exporting, I can now look at it in my photo gallery, just back out. So we have two videos now, the 54 second one and another new export one. And you can see it's more widescreen because it has been converted so we do have these black bars on the left and right side. And when you upload it to YouTube it will do that anyway because it's uh, going to play back the video in 1080p and the actual resolution is 1920 by 1080 So there we have the converted video which is running fine as well. And if I go into iMovies again and we'll start a new project and import this new video which we've just created which is this one here and let's see create movie and now watch as I go through the timeline you should see that there's no problems with it, distortion or any graphical glitches it's just going through the video as expected normally and we can make edits. So that's a very quick fix to the current problem of when you do a screen recorder on an air show and it doesn't work correctly when you first try and edit it. Simply import it into a movie editor and then immediately export it out and then start editing on that new movie. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, do pop them in the comments below and I'll try and help you. As always, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal if you want to see more iOS screen recording content. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day and I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.